Lyndall Wigginton scored 23 points and added 8 assists to lead the Hamilton Honey Badgers, 5-1, to their third straight win against the Guelph Nighthawks, 0-4, 85-76 in CEBL action on Friday. Keevan Vano added a career-high 21 points for Hamilton, now on a five-game winning streak after dropping its season opener. Cat Barber led Guelph with 25 points in their first home game of the season. They remain winless in the 2021 CEBL season. Booker and CP3 were sensational, Shannon Sharp on the Suns' Game 2 win over Bucks, undisputed Chris Broussard. Bucks can still make this a series, I have them taking Game 3, undisputed Nick Wright. Phoenix had a complete game, the Bucks were a one-man show, first things first, Bucks are not as good with Yanis as the centerpiece, Skip Bayless on Milwaukee's Game 2 loss to Suns, undisputed Antoine Walker says it's not over for Milwaukee. Yanis is only getting better. First things first Emmanuel Arco. Devin Booker winning a title will make him a bona fide superstar in the league I speak for yourself Emmanuel Arco. The best sports decision since LeBron went to South Beach, was LeBron returning to Ohio. Speak for yourself Shannon Sharp. I would love for Andre Drummond to stay with the Lakers but won't lose sleep if he doesn't. Undisputed Nick Wright and Chris Broussard ranked the importance of the last 10 NBA titles. First things first Nick Wright. Yanis is right. A title with the Bucks will matter massively. First things first, Chris Broussard won't write Bucks off if they go down 0-2. They've proven to be resilient. First things first, Shannon Sharp. Yanis' legacy will not be harmed if Bucks lose to Suns in the finals. Undisputed Emmanuel Arco. Bucks have nothing to worry about after Game 1 loss. They'll adjust and retaliate. Speak for yourself, Colin Cowherd. Milwaukee let Chris Paul do whatever he wanted in Game 1, the Herd Drummond or Kuzma. Shannon Sharp on who's the better fit for the Lakers' Nick Wright. Bucks should feel confident despite Game 1 loss to Suns in finals. The Herd Hamilton got the first basket of the night with Vano, but only managed to regain the lead in the last seconds of the third quarter with a Gene Victor Makama three-pointer to make it 60-59. Makama also dunked the final basket of the game to reach the Elam ending target of 85. The Honey Badgers will host the Niagara River Lions next at the first Ontario Centre in Hamilton on Sunday. The Nighthawks will also play at home as they face the Ottawa Blackjacks at the Sleeman Centre in Guelph on Monday.